Hello and welcome to your practice. Uh, today's going to be a nice practice for strengthening. We're going to twist. We're going to breathe. Um, I think, I hope you're going to like it today. So my reading for you today is from Eckhart Tolle. He's one of my very favorites. And it says this, your inner purpose is to awaken. It is as simple as that. You share that purpose with every other person on the planet because it is the purpose of humanity. Your inner purpose is an essential part of the purpose of the whole. Your outer purpose can change over time. It varies greatly from person to person. Finding and living in alignment with the inner purpose is the foundation for fulfilling your outer purpose. It is the basis for true success. So, what is our inner purpose and how do we find it? Um, the first time I read Eckhart Tolle, I read um, The Power of Now, and it whew, totally, I don't know, I, I got bits and pieces, but it made no sense to me. Then later on, uh, a few years later, he wrote a book called A New Earth. And when I read it, it made total sense to me. And um, that's how it goes. I think this inner purpose comes in layers. And, and how do we get our inner purpose? How do we find it? And I think that breathing, breath work, meditation, and yoga is key. At least it's been key for me. So let's get started with some yoga. We're going to get started on our backs. Maybe have a blanket or blocks or books or a cushion handy if you know you need some extra support or cushioning. We're going to start with our knees bent, feet a little wider than hip width apart, arms at our side, palms up, and we're just going to adjust the shoulders, tuck the chin a little bit, and we're going to take the knees a little to the right, a little to the left. So we've got this little rocking motion going on with the hips and knees. So we're not going into a twist. We're not bringing the knees way over like this. No, the knees are still kind of pointing up towards the ceiling and it's a small rocking motion. So this is just gonna start to warm up the low back, the sacrum, the hips a little bit, the thighs a little bit, the waistline a little bit. And then just start to feel the breath as we rock the hips a little side to side. So just a nice rocking motion it can be very soothing for the body, very calming for the body. And as we're doing this little rocking motion, we're going to work on our breath. So we're going to inhale to a count of four and exhale to a count of six. When we make our exhale slightly longer than the inhale, it's calming to the body. It turns on that parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest nervous system. So that's what we want here right at first. So inhale to a count of four and exhale to a count of six. And you're going to do all of that through the nose if possible. So um, keeping the mouth closed and just inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Now, of course, if your nose is stuffed up, maybe you have allergies or uh, can't breathe well through the nose, then yes, you can use the mouth to help you there. But if possible, we're going to breathe slowly in and out through the nose as we just take this rocking side to side. Now, as you're doing that counting breath, inhaling to four, exhaling to six, tune into how the body feels on the mat. When the knees go to the right, where do you feel it? When the knees go to the left, where do you feel it? And then we're going to let go of the counting of the breath. Just let the body breathe however it would like to breathe. Bring the knees to center. We're going to hug the knees into the chest. And just pause here for a moment. Just tuck the chin slightly, relax the shoulders, and just let the muscles in the back lengthen and soften. Let the belly soften. And now we're going to roll side to side. So shoulders and hips roll over to the side. You can let your head go the same direction as the knees and shoulders or the head can stay centered. You can try it both ways and see what you like better. 
So just bringing some circulation into the back body, some blood flow, a little massage to these muscles of the back. Bring the knees to center. Use your abdominals. Don't let the back arch. We're going to bring the feet down to the mat. Good. So readjust the hips and shoulders. We're going to warm up legs, hips, low back. We're going to stretch the right foot up to the ceiling. We'll circle the right ankle nice and slow in one direction. Let your toes wiggle around a bit. Let's go in the opposite direction. Point and flex the right foot. Just getting this right leg a nice stretch, a nice warm up. Keep the right foot flexed. Inhale with your exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. We're going to hug the knee. Keep your right foot flexed. That's going to work the calf muscle. Inhale again, exhale, lift your head up towards the right knee, shoulders down, neck long. So here we're going to keep the left knee bent, left foot on the floor. We're Pressing the waistline down in towards um, the belly button, the belly button down towards the spine and the waistline down towards the mat. So keep that pulling down of the belly. We don't want the back to arch up away from the mat. Now, keeping this left knee bent, if you want to add on for the abs, then just barely lift that left foot off the floor. We keep the left knee bent and we just barely lift the left foot off the floor as you keep pulling the belly button down towards the spine. Keep those shoulders relaxing down away from the ears. Now, if you lifted the left foot, bring it to the mat and we'll bring the right foot down to the mat and lower the head down. Rock the hips a little side to side. I'll bring the knees to center. Stretch the left foot up to the ceiling. We're going to circle the left ankle in one direction, letting the toes wiggle a bit. Let's go in the opposite direction. Point and flex the left foot. Keep the left foot flexed. Inhale with your exhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Keep the left foot flexed. Inhale again, exhale, lift your head up towards the left knee, shoulders down, neck long, keep that belly button pulling down towards the spine, waistline pressing into the floor, keep the right knee bent. If you like, you can lift the right foot off the floor a little bit. So we keep the right knee bent, right foot can stay on the floor or it can lift. So if you lift it, we engage those abdominals a little bit more and we want to keep that waistline pressing towards the floor. Don't let the belly puff up. Belly button pulls down towards the spine. Shoulders stay relaxed as you breathe. If you lifted the right foot, bring it to the mat. Bring the left foot to the mat and we're going to lower the head down. Hug both knees into the chest. We're going to roll side to side. Bring the knees to center, stretch both feet up to the ceiling, feet hip width apart, feet flexed. We'll take a little yoga walk, one knee bends, opposite foot stretches up to the ceiling. Nice and slow, working the legs, working the hips. We keep that waistline pressing down towards the floor. Always notice if that back wants to arch up away from the mat. If it does, then the abs have disengaged. They're not working for you anymore. And when the abs aren't engaged, the back is not protected. Let's bring both knees back into the chest, hug the knees, feet flexed. Inhale, with your exhale, lift your head up towards the knees, shoulders down, neck long, big breaths into the low belly. We're trying to compress the belly, giving ourselves a little squeeze, those internal organs get a little squeeze as we try to take deep, big, slow breaths. Inhale, lower the head. Use your abdominals, do not let the back arch, and we're gonna bring the feet down to the mat. They can come down one at a time if you need. Once the feet are down on the mat, one at a time, stretch the legs out. Arms at your side, palms up, tuck the shoulders under a little bit, and just let everything relax for a couple breaths. Bend the knees, feet on the floor. We're gonna work on a pelvic tilt. So inhale, we press the tailbone down into the floor. Here the waistline does lift up off the mat. And then exhale, we're gonna press the waistline down into the floor. Tailbone curls up a little bit. So nice and slow, back and forth between these two opposites. Good. 
Inhale, tailbone presses down. Exhale, waist presses down. Inhale, tailbone presses down. Exhale, waist presses down. So this is really great for the back. All those ligaments, tendons, all the muscles, the fascia, the connective tissue in the back. It works your core, works the hips a little bit. The upper body even gets a little bit of movement because as the hips are moving, everything's connected, right? So that upper body moves a little bit. Even the neck gets a little bit of movement. Shoulders, upper back. Good, and then come to neutral. Let's bring both knees back into the chest. Hug the knees, roll side to side. A couple times. Good, knees come to center. Use your abdominals, don't let the back arch. We're gonna bring the feet down to the mat. We're gonna prepare for bridge pose. So feet will be about hip width apart, and the knees are kind of over the heels. So notice if your feet are kind of far away from you, and we kind of want to pull, walk those feet back in towards the hips, and the feet are parallel. So uh, they're parallel, and they're even with the hips. Arms will be at your side, palms up. We're going to lift our into our bridge with that pelvic tilt. So inhale, exhale, press your waistline down, lead with your tailbone. Inhale, lift up nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Once the hips are as high as they want to go right now, then roll the shoulders under a little bit. The palms are still up, and we're gonna press the backs of the arms into the floor, tops of the shoulders into the floor. Let your belly be soft, bottom slightly firm, knees are parallel, and we'll hold here for a couple of breaths. So gravity wants to take the hips down, try to keep that lift that you started with. The weight's even in both feet. Try to feel, is right foot, left foot pressing evenly? Is the heel and the ball of the foot pressing evenly into the floor? We're gonna lower with our breath. Inhale first, exhale, lengthen and lower down. Let those shoulders roll out and we're gonna lower down one vertebra at a time. Once you're all the way down, hug both knees into the chest. We'll roll side to side. Good. Bring the knees to center. Use your abdominals. Feet come down to the mat. One at a time, stretch the legs out. Arms at your side, palms up. Tuck the shoulders under a little bit. Tuck the chin slightly and just a couple breaths. Let everything relax. We're gonna bend our knees, feet on the floor. We're gonna roll over onto your side, either side, doesn't matter. Come up into hands and knees table pose. Good, so we're gonna have wrists under our shoulders, knees under our hips. Fingers are spread nice and wide, index fingers parallel to each other. We're gonna go into our cat cow breath. Exhale, round the spine up, tuck the chin, pull your belly button up. Inhale, tilt the hips, arch the back, lengthen the neck, slide the shoulders back, slide the heart forward. With your breath, exhale when you round up. Inhale when you arch. So just observe, how does this feel? Where are you feeling it? Keep that movement coordinating with the breath. Exhale when you round. Inhale when you arch. Good. On your next exhale, shift back into child's pose. Big toes barely touching, knees separate apart a bit, and then we'll bring our forehead down to rest on the mat or on, you can stack hands on top of each other. We just want the forehead to rest somewhere so that the neck doesn't have to hold up the head. I'm gonna breathe into the low back, Breathe into the rib cage, breathe into the shoulders. We're gonna stay in this child's pose, but we'll come up to our elbows. So like Sphinx pose, when we're all the way stretched out on our belly, we're gonna have our shoulders over our elbows, palms are flat on the floor. We're gonna go to the right first. So keep your left arm down and bring your right hand, the palm will be pressing into the floor in front of your right knee. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna lift that right shoulder and we're gonna turn to the right. So it's a little twist. Just 
hold here for a couple breaths. Keep pressing that right hand into the floor. As you turn to the right, the right shoulder lifts. The neck is long. Good, and then exhale. Let's come out of that. Bring the right hand down. So right elbow, right hand down. And then the left palm will be flat on the floor in front of the left knee. We're gonna inhale, press the left hand into the floor as you turn to the left and lift the left shoulder. We're looking to the left as we're breathing here. Keep that left hand pressing nice and firm down into the mat as you turn to the left, as you lift the left shoulder, the neck is long. Good, to come out of it, we're gonna exhale to come out of it. Bring that left elbow down. We're gonna come back up into our hands and knees table. So the knees can come a little closer together. Knees are parallel. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Exhale, round the spine up. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Let's take one more of those. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Good. We're going to come to a neutral table and we're going to do a thread the needle, but we're not going, we're going to do it uh, dynamic. We're not going to hold it and we're not going to bring our shoulder down to the floor. So we're going to keep the left hand down on the mat, inhale the right arm out to the right, and then exhale, thread that right arm through. Keep the left arm straight, thread the right arm through and reach the palm over. Your shoulder is up off the floor. We're going to do two more of those. Inhale, right arm up, looking to the right. Exhale, thread it through. Keep that left arm straight. Drop the right shoulder and, and reach it to the left. Last time, inhale, right hand up. Exhale, thread it through, reaching that right hand to the left. Good. And then unwind, bring that right hand down. Take three cat breaths. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale round, inhale arch, one more, exhale round, inhale arch. We're going to come to neutral, keep the right palm down on the floor, inhale left arm out to the left, turn to the left, and then exhale, thread it through, right arm stays straight and reach that left hand to the right. Two more of those, inhale left arm out to the left. Exhale, thread it through to the right. Your left shoulder's up off the floor. One more, inhale, lift that left arm out to the left, and then exhale, thread it through, reach the left hand over to the right. Little twist, and then we'll come out of that. Left hand comes down, wrists under the shoulders. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. Two more of those. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. One more, exhale, round, inhale, arch. Shift back into child's pose, a couple of breaths. Wobble the hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good. Come to neutral. From child's pose, we're gonna go into downward dog. Stretch the hands as far forward as they'll go. Elbows are up off the mat. Now come up into your hands and knees. Bring your knees a little closer together. Fingers spread nice and wide. Curl the toes under. Inhale, with your exhale, lift up and then shift back. So bring the head back in between the arms, right? The head is hanging, top of the head pointing towards the floor. Spread the toes out on the mat and we'll walk it out. One heel lowers, other heel lowers. Belly pulls in and up towards the spine, just stretching out the backs of the legs, stretching out the spine, stretching out the shoulders. Keep pressing the floor away from you with both hands and keep lifting the shoulders up away from the floor, up away from the earlobes. Good, and then come down to knees. Shift back into child's pose, just a few breaths. We're gonna take a few wrist circles or wiggle the fingers, wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good, let's come back up into our hands and knees. Crawl towards the front of your mat. We're gonna come down onto our elbows. So we're gonna wrap our hands around the elbows. We want our shoulders stacked right over the elbows and knees are under the hips. 
Plant your elbows there, bring the hands forward. Tuck the chin slightly. Keep the belly button pulling up towards the spine. So we don't want to arch the back. The back is neutral, neck is neutral. Inhale, come forward towards the hands a bit. Exhale, shift back towards the heels a bit. Inhale, come forward a little bit. Exhale, shift back a little bit. Keep your neck neutral, keep your spine neutral. Try not to round and arch. So working the shoulders, working the hips, working the core. Good, and then come to neutral. So shoulders are gonna be right over the elbows. Make sure those elbows didn't widen out. Okay, we can still wrap those fingers around, make sure they're stacked right under, the elbows are stacked right under the shoulders. Bring the hands forward, interlace the fingers. We're gonna go into a plank pose. So we're gonna stretch one leg back, the toes are curled under, the other leg back, toes curled under, shoulders stay over the elbows, and we're gonna tuck the tailbone, pull the belly button up towards the spine. A couple big breaths here. So don't let the back arch. We're almost rounding a little bit. Push up between the shoulder blades. We don't wanna sink down into the shoulders. We wanna lift up into the shoulders. Shoulder blades spread apart. A couple big breaths, drop down to knees, and then we're gonna shift back into child's pose. Wobble the hips and shoulders a little side to side. We're gonna take one more downward dog. Stretch the hands as far forward as they'll go. Elbows up off the mat. Come up into your hands and knees. Knees come a little closer together. Fingers spread nice and wide. Curl the toes under. Inhale with your exhale. Lift up, shift back, downward dog. Walk it out. One heel lowers, other heel lowers. Keep the belly button pulling in and up. Tuck the chin a little bit so we, the back of the neck is nice and long. We're not looking forward. We're kind of looking back towards the toes, towards the knees. Good, let's come down to knees. Shift back into child's pose. Couple breaths, wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good. We're gonna go into a um, plank and we're gonna move, it's gonna work the waistline area and we're gonna be moving the heels a little bit. So we're gonna come into plank. You can also do this plank on your elbows like we just did that last plank. Um, if you're good on your hands, we're gonna have those fingers spread nice and wide. We want our shoulders to stay right over our wrists. One leg stretches back, the other leg stretches back and we're gonna Puff up between the shoulder blades, belly button pulls up towards the spine, tail tucks a little so we don't want to arch, we don't want to sink and sag. We're pushing up and away, we're tucking the tailbones. Now walk the feet a little wider apart and then drop the heels to the left, drop the heels to the right. Try to keep your shoulders over your wrist, keep that belly button pulling up towards the spine and we're just dropping the heels to one side, dropping the heels to the other side. So we're working that waistline, we're working the core, we're working the shoulders, we're working the legs, we're working the muscles of the back, an all over amazing plank, this rotating plank we're doing. Bring the heels up, drop the knees down, shift back into child's pose. And you just do that as long as you can. If you can't do it as long as I was doing, you just do it a little bit or you can just stay in a plank. So you just do what you can, as you can, how you can, you modify, you stay on the path, yeah? You don't give up, you just keep doing a little bit each day. Wobble the hips and shoulders a little side to side, let everything come back to normal, let the breath come back to normal. Circling those wrists a little bit, wiggle the fingers a little bit. So we're gonna go into a side plank and it's gonna be a modified side plank. So we're gonna start on our left side. So left elbow is down, left palm flat on the floor, left shoulder stacked over the left elbow. The left knee is bent and the right leg, top leg is stretched out. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna press into the floor and I'm gonna lift that left hip off, off the floor. I'm checking to make sure left shoulders over the left elbow. And I'm trying to pull this left waistline, left rib cage up away from the floor. I'm gonna bring my right hand to my right hip. We're gonna work the core a little bit. So let's drop that left hip down 
and then lift it up. Pull, arch away from the floor. Two more. Drop the left hip down and then lift it up, arch away. One more. Drop the left hip down and then lift up, pressing the left rib cage up away from the floor. Good. Drop the left hips down. We're going to switch sides. Okay. So we're going to come over onto our right elbow. Right palm is flat. Right shoulder over right elbow. Right knee is bent. Top leg, left leg stretched out. The arch side of my foot is down towards the mat. Take your left hand, press into the floor and lift yourself up. Pull that right rib cage up away from the floor and make sure your right shoulder is over your right elbow. Left hand on the left hip. We're going to bring that the right hip down and then lift up and away. Good. Two more. Bring the right hip down and then lift up and away. Arch away from the floor. One more. Bring the right hip down and then lift up and away. Arching, arching. And then bring that right hip down. Beautiful. Okay. One more time on the left side. Sit up just like we did before. So left palm down, left shoulder over left elbow, left hip is down, top leg, right leg is stretched out, arch side of the right foot is down towards the floor. Like before, we're going to lift up away, right? We're trying to bring these this left rib cage up away from the floor. We don't let it sink down. We're lifting up away. Make sure that left shoulder is still over the left elbow. Right arm is going to stretch up. Good. Inhale. As you exhale, thread that right hand underneath and turn and look at the mat. Two more of those. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, we're going to turn, look at the mat, thread that right arm under. One more. Inhale, right arm comes up and exhale, thread that right hand under. Good. And then bring the left hip down. We're going to do that on the right side. So switch sides. Come over onto the right elbow, right palm down, right shoulder over right elbow, right knee bent, top leg, left leg stretched out. We're going to lift the right hip up off the floor. I'm arching away from the mat. Good. Left arm's going to lift up. Good. Inhale, exhale. We're going to thread that left arm underneath. Turn and look at the mat. Two more of those. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread that left arm through. Good. Inhale, lift. Last time. Exhale, thread that left arm down and under. Good. Inhale, lift. And then bring that right hip down. Switch sides. We're going back over to the left side. Good. Left hand down, left shoulder over left elbow. Right knee bent, top leg stretched out. We're going to lift. That left hip up off the floor. Check to make sure that left shoulder is over the left elbow. Right arm is going to stretch up. We're going to hold here and breathe. So as we hold here and breathe, I keep pulling my left rib cage up away from the floor. So staying here breathing. If you want to add on just a little bit, lift the right leg and spread the right toes. Good. Reach through the right fingers. Reach through the right toes. Good. And then right leg comes down if you lifted it and the left hip comes down. We're going to do that on the right side. So switch sides. Back over on that right elbow, right palm down, right shoulder over right elbow, right hip down. Left leg, top leg stretches out. We're going to lift that right hip up off the floor, keep pulling the right ribs up away from the floor and lift the left hand up. So stay here and breathe. Make sure that right shoulder's over right elbow. If you want to add on, left leg lifts. Spread the left toes. Spread the left fingers. Keep arching away from the mat. Keep breathing. If you lifted the left leg, bring it down and bring the right hip down. Good. And then we're going to swing around onto hands and knees table. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Exhale, round the spine up. Inhale, arch. Two more cat breaths. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. One more. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Shift back into child's pose. A couple breaths. Wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side. Good. 
Nice, we'll take one downward dog. Stretch the hands as far forward as they'll go. Elbows up off the mat. Come up into your hands and knees. Knees come a little closer together. Make sure the fingers are spread. Index fingers parallel to each other. Curl your toes under. Inhale. With your exhale, lift up, shift back. A couple breaths here. Spread the toes out on the mat. Little bend in the knees. Lift the hips towards the ceiling. Nice little arch in the low back. Tucking the chin slightly. A couple big breaths. Let's lift both heels up, lower both heels. Lift both heels, lower both heels. One more, lift both heels, lower both heels. And then come down to knees, shift back into child's pose. A couple breaths, wobble hips and shoulders side to side. Go ahead, come up into hands and knees table. From table pose, we're gonna go into our squat pose. So we're gonna curl the toes under, Walk the hands back to your balancing on toes and fingertips. And we're going to go into a standing forward fold. So we're going to lift the hips up, heels come down, widen the feet a little wider than the hips. Little bend in the knees, and we're going to bring elbows to knees. So your hands can kind of be in a prayer pose here, elbows in the knees. We've got this nice deep bend in the knees, and we've got a nice flat back with a little curve in it. So we're going to work the legs a bit. So we're going to drop the hips down, and then we're going to lift the hips. So we drop the hips, and we lift the hips. Now my spine is not rounding and not arching. The only thing really moving here is the legs. The legs are deeply bending, and then the legs are straightening a little bit. Spine stays neutral. Elbows stay on knees. We're really working the legs here. Your belly pulls in and up. Now the next time the hips drop, keep them dropped. A nice bend in the knees. The weight is in the heels. My toes are light. Bring your right arm back by your right hip. Your right thumb is down. Bring your left arm by your left ear. Your left thumb is up. Spread the fingers. Pull the belly in and up. Neck long, spine long. Weight is in the heels. Keep breathing. Bring elbows back to knees. Hands in prayer pose. Straighten the legs a little, bend the knees. Straighten the legs, bend the legs. Spine is neutral, so we're not rounding and arching the spine. Spine and neck are neutral, the legs are what is moving. Get your breath back. So it's a lot of work in the legs. It's a, it's, it gets that heart rate going. Good, next time the knees are bent, keep them bent. Left arm reaches back by your left hip, thumb down. Right arm by your right ear, thumb up. Weight in the heels, belly pulls in and up. Looking down at the mat, neck long, keep breathing. Working those legs. Good, keep the knees bent, bring hands to the knees. Lift the chest into a halfway lift. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Pull the belly in and up. We're gonna hinge up, long spine, strong legs, all the way up to standing. Whew, if that didn't get your heart rate going, hmm, I don't know, got mine going. So let's just shake that out a little bit, shake the legs out, they did a lot of work, shake the arms out, they did a lot of work. I'm gonna take a few sun breaths, so feet hip width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, heels pointing straight ahead, knees pointing straight ahead, thighs engage, belly pulls in, belly pulls up. We're gonna inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Oh yeah, inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Get the weight on even on the feet. Arches lift a little bit. When the hands come up, the shoulders stay down, right? Hands aren't up by the ears, no. I mean, shoulders aren't up by the ears, shoulders are down. Good, one more sun breath. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands come down. Good, take a few shoulder rolls. Shoulders come up and back and down. Up and back and down. As far up, as far back, as far down as they'll go. Work that upper body, work the shoulders. Then alternate one back and the other back, a little backstroke. Good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna take a wide leg stance with our mat, on our mat, I mean. Um, kind of for a goddess pose. So the toes are pointing out a little bit. We're gonna bend the knees. I 
once you bend the knees, adjust the feet. So the heels might need to come in a little bit. We want our arches to lift. Got a nice little bend in the knees. And you can even be up a little higher. So whatever feels good for your legs, um, for your back. Hands are on the knees. We're gonna go into a little twist. So we're gonna keep the hands on the knees. Knees are wide, they're not coming in, right? We're opening those knees out, kind of knees are over the ankles. Toes are a little light, the arches lift a bit. We're gonna inhale, as you exhale, bring your left shoulder towards the middle of the mat. So we're gonna hold here and breathe. So as that left shoulder moves forward, we're taking the left hand and pressing the left thigh away. So a big stretch on the left thigh, on the rib cage, the neck is long, arches lift, feet even on the mat. A couple breaths here. Good, inhale, come back to center. Good, the arch is still lifting, legs are even. Inhale, as you exhale, bring your right shoulder towards the middle of the mat. Good, as your right shoulder comes forward, you're gonna take the right hand and press the right knee, the right thigh away. Couple breaths, keep those legs strong. Belly pulls in and up. Keep breathing. Good, inhale and come back up. Nice and slow, straighten the legs, heel toe the feet together. Let's take a sun breath, inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down, good. Bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Weights even on both feet. Take a couple breaths. Mm. Good. And then we're going to drop the hands. We're going to take that wide leg stance again. Toes pointing out. We'll bend the knees. Adjust the feet. Adjust the heels. Arches lift. Knees open nice and wide. Little tuck to the tail. Belly button pulls in. Belly pulls up. Shoulders down. Heart lifts a little. Tail tucks a little bit. We're going to come into goddess pose. So we'll inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Turn your palms forward, fingers spread. Bend the elbows. So our elbows in line with the shoulders and our wrists in line with the elbows. So our, we're kind of like a goal post or cactus arms. Keep those knees opening wide. Keep the belly pulling in and up. Goddess pose. Good. And then we're going to take, um, we're going to take a Kali um, with the mouth. So we're going to Look up towards the sky, tongue sticks out, and go. Good, close the mouth. Nice and slow, lower the arms. Nice and slow, straighten the legs. And we're gonna heel, toe, the feet in. Good. Shake out arms, shake out legs. Separate the feet a little wide, and then we're gonna take a little few side swings. Let the opposite heel lift up. Let the arms be floppy, shoulders relax, arms hit you in the side or the waist or the hips. Good. A few breaths, letting everything neutralize, letting everything come back to normal. Good, and we're gonna come all the way down onto our mat, hug the knees into the chest, and we're gonna roll side to side. Nice work. Good. Bring everything to center. Use your abdominals. We're going to bring the feet down to the floor. Good. We're going to, uh, we're actually going to come up to seated. <laughs> so let's roll all the way up to seated or come to your side and come up to seated. So we're going to work the abs just a little bit. So we're sitting with the knees bent, feet on the floor, hands on the knees. We'll take a few cat breaths. So we're gonna inhale, sit tall, long spine. We've got this little curve in the low back. And then exhale, we're gonna round, tuck the chin, round the shoulders, pull the belly button in. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, round. So it's just this seated cat pose. Just like what we do on our hands and knees, but we're doing it in a seated form. Inhale, tall. So now that you're sitting tall, stay tall. Weights even on the sits bones. So you can rock a little side to side. We feel those sits bones, those little bony protrusions. We're sitting evenly on them. We're gonna lean back a little bit and bring the hands to the outer thighs. So we're now just on the little back edge of the sits bones. We're lifting the heart, 
and we're gonna go into three boat variations. So the first boat, we're just gonna to come to our toes. So lift your heels up a little bit. We're lifting our heart and the belly comes towards the thighs and we're squeezing shoulder blades together. So even, we're gonna stay here and breathe. So we don't even need to lift the feet off the floor to engage the core. We want this nice arch in the low back. There's no rounding, there's no sinking. There's a lifting, heart lifts, shoulders squeeze together. Good, and then bring the feet all the way, the heels all the way down. A couple of those cat breaths, hands come back to the knees. Exhale, round the spine, inhale, arch. The knees can open up a little when you arch, if you like. Exhale, round, inhale, arch. Good, exhale, round, inhale, arch. Now let's stay nice and tall, good. Hands are gonna come to the outer thighs, hearts lifting little curve in the low back, my belly coming towards the thighs. Let's lift the heels, so we're up on our toes. This is where we were before. If you wanna add on to your boat pose, you can stay right here because you're working the core, you're working everything. But if you wanna add on, you can try lifting one leg and then the other leg. So hands on the outer thighs. I'm keeping my heart lifting, squeezing shoulder blades together, and there's a nice little curve in the low back. I'm not rounding, I'm not sinking. Belly button pulls in and up. Couple breaths, good, and then bring those feet down. Lean back on the hands, stretch out the legs, windshield wiper the feet. Good, so we're gonna try one more boat and we'll go through all the, the other two boats that we did. And the last one, we will be um, trying to let go of the legs. Now when we let go of the legs, we're gonna have our palms up, but my, my shoulders aren't rounded. So once the palms come up, I'm gonna plug those arms back into the shoulders. That's gonna open the heart, open the chest, and it's gonna activate that upper back, and it's also gonna help me keep that healthy curve in the low back, okay? So let's come up to hands and knees. Get that weight even on both sits bones. Hands on the outer thighs. Right now, I'm already kind of squeezing shoulder blades together. Keep that back long, it's not gonna round, and we're gonna lean back just a little bit, okay? Now you can lift the heels up off the floor. That was our first boat. Second boat, we tried lifting, we tried lifting the feet. Good, so keep the heart lifting, belly button pulls in and up. Shoulders engage and shoulders pull back. You can stay here or you can lift the hands. If you lift the hands, now plug the arm bone back into the shoulders, heart lifts. Belly moving towards your thighs, little curve in the low back, belly pulls in and up. Smile if you can and let's come out of it, feet come down. Lean back on the hands, stretch out the legs. Oh yeah, windshield wiper those feet. Mm-hmm, I feel it. Good, come all the way down onto your back now. We're gonna hug the knees into the chest, roll side to side. Oh, so as we roll side to side, we can feel that upper back. So we were engaging in between those shoulders. We were working that low back. We were working the core. Good, bring everything to center. Use your abdominals, bring the feet down to the mat. We're gonna take one bridge pose. Arms down at your side, feet hip width apart. Walk the feet back towards the hips a little. Arms at your side, palms up. We're gonna lift with our breath. Inhale first, exhale, press your waistline down. Inhale, lead with the tailbone, lift up nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Tuck the shoulders under a bit, belly soft. Bottom slightly firm. Big breaths, knees parallel. Weights even on the feet, let the belly stretch. Good, big breaths, nice and slow. We'll lower down with breath. Inhale first, exhale, roll the shoulders out and we're gonna lower down one vertebra at a time. Come all the way down. Once your hips are down, hug the knees into the chest and we'll roll side to side. Good, knees come together. Use your abdominals, bring the feet to the floor. Good. One more pose for our abs. We're going to stretch both feet up to the ceiling. Good. And then we're going to keep this waistline pressing down towards the floor. Belly button presses down towards the spine. So we're not arching away or, or pulling the waistline down, pulling the belly button down. Keep that integrity here. Arms at your side. Palms can be down. And we're going to keep the legs straight and let the right leg come down maybe... Uh, at an angle, whatever angle feels good for you, but you don't lose 
that integrity in the core. We keep that belly button pulling down. And then gently squeeze the thighs together. So squeeze and breathe. Those thighs moving, hugging in towards the middle. Good. Bring the right leg up. Keep the right leg up and then the left leg's gonna come down at an angle. And then pull the inner thighs in towards each other. Keep that waistline pressing down towards the floor. Don't let the back arch. Bring the left foot up, hug the knees into the chest. We'll roll side to side. Nice. So it doesn't matter how low that leg comes. The leg that you're lowering, doesn't matter how low it goes. What matters is you don't start to arch away from the floor, that you keep that waistline pressing down. You keep the belly button hugging down towards the spine. So we're gonna take that one more time with a little variation. Both feet stretch up to the ceiling. This time, the hands are gonna come back behind the head, elbows wide. Keep the left leg up and bring that right leg down at whatever angle you can maintain so the waistline doesn't lift up. Now inhale, and as you exhale, curl up. Keep those elbows wide. Keep the legs hugging in towards each other. Big breaths, keep pulling that belly button down. Good, inhale, lower the head, bring the right leg up. Keep the right leg up. The left leg's gonna lower at whatever angle you can maintain the core. Inhale, as you exhale, curl up and breathe. Hug those legs in towards the midline. Big breaths, don't let the back arch. My legs are shaking a little, maybe yours are. Inhale, lower the head, bring the left foot up and then hug both knees into the chest. And we are quite done with our poses today. Hug the knees, roll side to side. We're gonna get ready for final relaxation. So bring the knees to center, use the abdominals, bring the feet down to the mat. Good. Get nice and even on the mat. And then set up for your final relaxation. So some pose where you can let everything relax. So the legs can be stretched out, the knees can be bent. You can have a bolster or blanket roll under the knees or under the thighs. It could be a constructive rest where the knees fall in on each other, feet a little wide. That's really nice for the low back. Let the eyes softly close. Let the eyes relax. Let the jaw relax. Let the shoulders relax. Make some little adjustments to the body to get a little more comfortable. So we, we really move the body today. We we work that waistline, we did some twists, we work the legs, we work the core. And we stayed on the path to our, to our inner purpose. So just breath, just yoga, just meditation, whatever you can do during the day to bring awareness to your true self, your deeper self. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Exhale, feel the belly fall. And if you like taking that uh, four, six breath, so we inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of six. So remember, that's a tool you can use anytime, but making that exhale a little longer than the inhale turns on the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest nervous system. It's a great breath to help us relax, de-stress, reduce anxiety. It helps to increase all the feel-good hormones in the body. Inhale to four. Exhale to a count of six. Let stillness just come all over the body. We've moved it. Now it's time to be still. To do, try to resist any um, feelings to fidget or adjust or move or just try to be still and breathe through whatever it is you're feeling. Be 
become stillness. Corpse pose to take on the qualities of a corpse and become still. And then symbolically, when we come out of corpse pose, we are waking to our new self. We leave behind the past and we awaken to the present. And if you'd like to stay in Shavasana, the spinal relaxation a little longer and you have time, stay as long as you can. If you're gonna come out of it with me, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, bend the knees, Roll over onto your side, either side. Take just a moment there, making that transition from your back to your side body. Use your strong arms, come up nice and slow, all the way up to seated. So we're gonna sit tall, sit comfortably for your legs. Tailbone's gonna move back slightly, heart lifts slightly, belly pulls in and up slightly. Shoulders relax down. So feel this seated position. Feel good and grounded down through the sits bones. Feel the spine growing up tall all the way through the crown of the head. Feel your breath. Let the breath come back into the low belly. Good. We'll bring the palms together, thumbs at the heart. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.